Hello to all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video we will study about the enablement of the dark theme in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. If you are interested to have dark theme to protect our eyes from the extra glare from the screen to save battery etc. We can enable it by making few changes. So here on the screen in the SSMS We'll go to the tools, which is the fourth tab here and go to the options under the tools. If you click on the options after tools, we have this first setting as the environment. Under the environment, we have the general setting section, which will open up the visual experience. And this visual experience will have the color theme. Color theme by default after installing SSMS. This is SSMS 19th version 1.9. It will show up three options blue blue extra contrast and light we are interested to enable dark theme to do that we need to make change and once that option is enabled we'll see here another option as dark close it and now we'll go to the installed folder of ssms in the c drive so we'll open C drive. Inside the C drive, we'll go to the program files. Inside program files, we have to search for the SSMS, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. We have here two. We will select the latest version, which is 19, installed in this system. We'll open 19. Then it will have two folders. We'll have to enter inside common 7. We click over it. Next, we have to go inside the IDE folder, click over it and inside this IDE folder, there are many files and folders. We have to search for a file named as ssms.pkg undef for this file, ssms.pkg undef. Okay. We have to open this file, right click on this file and select edit with notepad plus plus if you have notepad plus plus it is fine as you can edit it in any of the editor make sure you have the admin permission so that you can edit this file and the changes should reflect in the c drive okay and let's check at the top the file path let's check at the top the file path it's inside the c drive inside the program files SSMS, common 7, IDE, and the file name is SSMS PKG undef. We'll right click on the file, click on edit with Notepad. It will open up Notepad. Here we can see that yeah, the same file from the location is opened, and we have to go to the bottom end of the file. Here at the end of the file, we have these two lines okay remove dark theme second line we have to comment second line we have to comment it so we have to give forward slash okay and we have to save this file when you click on control s to save it will give us a message that it cannot be saved it is protected so it's asking us to launch notepad plus plus in admin mode so we have to launch it in admin mode. We'll say yes. It will prompt us to allow the app to make changes to the device. We'll say yes. And the changes will be made. To make sure the changes are made in this file. Okay. It's a big file. If you are unable to find the settings, you can also control F that is find and search for the keyword dark so that you'll be taken directly to this section of commenting out the dark theme line. Now since the changes are made in the notepad plus plus, we need to make sure if it is done correctly or not. We'll go back to the explorer and in the explorer in the same location we'll see whether after refreshing the time changed or not. It came to today's date and time or not. So we'll so we'll right click, we'll refresh and search for SSMS 
pkg and f and to see that the date modified will be be today's date and time so this looks fine we will close ssms and reopen it so we'll close the ssms and reopen it and now we can see the dark theme we'll connect to the existing sql server so logged in to the sql server and again we'll go to the same tools to options in the general we can see the color theme selected as dark okay it is now by default getting selected as dark when we reopen the ssms okay so this option appeared after we comment out that line from the ssms.pkg undef file so this is the minor change using which we can enable the dark theme in ssms thank you for watching this video to let me know in comments if you have any queries happy learning bye